Okay, I'm over at uh, this house. We're going to test out this camera. Standing in the bathroom right now, and I'm going to go find out what's going on with this camera. We're going to go over to advanced settings, and we've got the micro D, and that's not working. I really don't want to uh, power this thing down and do a whole install reset, but I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. What I am going to do first is I'm going to unplug the SD card, plug it back in, and find out if it detects everything. We've got the camera. I'm going to go on the bottom over here. I'm going to press on SD card. I don't know if this is showing up. I'm going to pull out the SD card. I'm hoping that it's going to... I don't need to pull it out all the way. You can see that it's in there. Now I'm going to press it in. I'm hoping that it's going to do a detect the SD card and make a little click sound. Make the little dee -dee 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 or whatever that sound is that it makes. And we're going to find out right now. It doesn't look like the camera's on. I don't know why. The camera light is not on. I'll be back. So I have removed the SD card, which I probably should have done after I had powered it down. And then I put the card back in and then I unplugged it. So what you really should do, unplug it, take out the SD card, put it back in, and then plug it back in. And now I'm going to see if this even detects anything. I might have to completely reinstall the camera. I've got the SD card in an SD card external reader. I'm going to see if I can read any data off of the card before I am forced to format it. That is the SD card. It shows that 120 gigabytes is there. It's formatted for FAT32 and there appears to be free space. So everything's good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and do a format on the computer because as I said I formatted originally on the uh, camera I believe and um, it stopped working so again they say 32 gigabyte is the max this is 128 gigabyte but let me see if fixing this with the uh, format on the PC makes it work again this is interesting we have XFAT and we have NTFS so maybe that's why people were using that GUI format program, because with Windows 10, you were no longer allowed to format it to FAT32. Um, I don't even know if you can format FAT32 on a 128-gigabyte item. There might be a limitation on that. You should be able to. So let me go find that program, and we'll continue. This is the program. It's called GUI Format. It comes uh, for x86 or x64 and from what I've read you just uh, format it with the default and this default is 32768 so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a uh, format of the SD card and we'll see what happens. It is a FAT32 format program. Well, that's interesting and it says I cannot do that because it's being run by another program. Let me find out if I have to close some stuff here. Doing a restart, maybe uh, when I checked out the SD card to see if it, uh, when I went to the tools and general properties, maybe that caused a problem and it was locking up the SD card. So I'm rebooting Windows 10 and we'll see what happens. I don't know if this is even going to work. Um, Leaving at the uh, default allocation unit size F uh, FAT32 format options. We're going to do quick format and let's see if it's locked up again or not. Do you really want to? There's nothing that's using this SD card, so that makes absolutely no sense. The file is being used by another process. This is this is ridiculous. So I might be taking this home. Um, this, this should be working. I should be able to... Let's take off the quick format. Nothing is tying up this SD card. Nothing is... Yeah, this is... There's something wrong here. 
Maybe I'm going to try before I head on home. I am going to use the regular Windows 10 formatting program because I believe that this was formatted originally as XFAT and not as, as FAT32. I don't think they format it when you buy it as NTFS. So let's see if it even formats before I shut off the video. Format complete. Well, that was quick. Quick format, format complete. Which took seconds, which kind of worries me. Um, I want to do that again, but I'm going to take off the quick format. I want to do a full format on this. And then we'll plug it into the computer and see, I mean plug it into the camera and see what happens. It's probably going to take a little bit of time, 128 gig, but it's on a PC so it should go quick. If this doesn't work, then what I'm going to do is I'll just go home and I'll take a brand new uh, SD card and I'll find out how they format it when they sell it. And maybe that's where I need to head. But I definitely know the problem is that I'm not that I'm going over 32 gigabyte and they don't support that. And obviously their camera is not capable of formatting properly, so it I, I wouldn't be surprised if it messed up the SD card in the formatting process. Check this out, people. Check this out. Check this out. The uh, GUI format didn't work, so I went in and I started doing the XFAT um, default allocation size on Windows 10. And I was trying to do a full format, and it was taking over 45 minutes, so I just canceled it and I did a quick format. Advanced settings. Manage micro SD formatted 0 over 119 so that already worked let me back up I'm going to do this on another one in a minute manage SD so we have the control of what that's working now and we also get the SD card I'm going to get one more camera and we're going to test this out and I'm going to show you the whole thing so even though they say XFAT does not work and over 32 gigabytes does not work I'm doing XFAT 128 gigabytes one more camera to go Hey people, let's do a full video right now. I'm going to plug this in. Well, I can tell you it's not going to work, but I'm going to plug it in. I want you to see what's going on here. we got the SD card in this thing. Let it start up. Which one are we looking at? I don't even know which one we're looking at. S88, so we're looking at S74. Sorry, we are waiting for that. It's authenticating. It's authenticating. There we are. We're in the bathroom. I'm going to go click on this thing. Settings. Advanced settings. SD card. Non-existent. Doesn't exist. No SD card. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn this thing upside down. Take out the SD card. Sorry, you can't see that on camera too well. I'll press it in. SD card comes out. And then I'm going to take it and put it into an external card reader. I think it goes this way. Does it go this way or no? It goes the other way. There we go. Now we're going to go up to Okay, so now it recognizes, now it sees the SD card. So I'm going to close this thing. I'm going to click on Manage at the top. We're going to do, we're not going to do that. We're going to go up here and we're going to click Format. I'm going to click Format. This is going to come up now. And what you want to do is make sure it's on quick format, default allocated size, XFAT. I'm going to click start. It only takes a second to do. Warning. Yes. Click OK. Already completed. I'm going to take OK. I'm going to take that out right now. And then I'm going to uh, close that. Now we're going to go over and finish this video off because this is 
Just nuts how long this has taken me. Pull out the SD card. I'm going to put this over towards here. I'm going to press this thing to get this back in there. I'm going to put the cover on here. And I'm going to have to shut off the camera in a minute just for a second. Okay, we heard the beep beep. That means that it just detected the SD card. It just saw the SD card. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back over to the cell phone. And I'm going to click, okay, we're on S74. S74. Okay, well, let's back out of this because it doesn't see it. Might have to reboot the machine. S74. Advanced settings, and there it is, people. So they say that it needs FAT32. It will not work on XFAT. They say that it will only work on 32 gigs, but this is a 128 gig as you see, and it works. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Please click on the affiliate links in the video description. If this helped you out, click on the PayPal donation link and help me out. Thank you. See ya. All right, people, we're going to finish this video off, hopefully. I want to get this thing done. Let's go over to Advanced. As I said, this did this to three cameras last night. When I remotely try to format them, you cannot format anything over a 32 gig FAT32 in this thing that will completely screw it up. This thing formats FAT32 and nothing over 32 gig. So you have to do it from a computer. We can see it's not working right now. So I'm going to go over here, like I just did on the others. This is the last one. I'm going to turn this thing upside down. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to go take the SD card, press it in over here. I'm going to get it out, and then I'm going to put it into an external card reader over here. I think I did a video on this external card reader. Um, without it, you really can't do these formats. So we're going to let it figure out what it's got to figure out, let it detect everything. I'm going to go over to my PC. My PC, we should have, there we've got removable drive F over there, 120. I'm just going to go over here right now and click, right click it. And then I'm going to go click on format. Format, 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 and that little box is going to come up. We're going to go, sorry about uh, making everybody dizzy. We're going to do X fat. We're going to leave, um, now this one says allocate size. This one is showing the allocated size. I thought the other one actually said default. I don't know what the default is, but I'm just going to do the quick format and get this over with. It should, uh, that box comes up. I'm going to go over here and click OK. It's going to do it in about a second. Format complete. I'm going to take this thing out now and plug it into the camera camera is on, you really should do this with the camera unplugged. I'm going to, uh, is that the wrong direction? I don't know. Okay, so the, yeah, the, the pins go towards the front. Now we should get a double ding ding if this worked the right way and it detects it. Or is it going to give me the double ding ding? That's the double ding ding. We fixed it. Everything's working now. Now I'm going to go show you this and then I'm going to finish.